the U.S. government lost its AAA bond rating? Who the heck knows? Well, our Bulls and Bears panel are here to tell us. And, you know, I'm going to go for the jugular. Peter, Peter! Schiff! Peter! <laughs> Peter Schiff. Now, first of all, we've had AAA for about 100 years now. Do you think it's deserved right now? Of, of course not. Look, remember, there are a lot of subprime mortgages that were sporting AAA ratings and look what happened to them Liz I mean, just talked to the yeah. Connecticut Attorney General yeah. about to sue somebody for I that. I mean we're, we're a subprime nation yeah. at this point I mean anybody that buys our debt we're is subprime yes. anybody that buys our debt is not going to get paid back Ben Bernanke is assuring that all these bailouts are coming at the expense of inflation we're debasing our money if anybody loans Americans money whether you're in Europe or in Asia whatever you loan we're not going to pay it back the best case scenario is you get the dollars back, but you're going to see a huge loss in purchasing power, and that's what the rating agencies need to focus on. And ultimately, we're going to lose that. We're junk bonds. We're subprime. We have nowhere near AAA. Well, uh, let me bring in Tobin here. Uh, you yeah. know, when the FDIC says we guarantee everybody's uh, bank accounts for $100,000, you know, their money is held in treasuries, and it just makes you wonder how many more banks are going to run into problems and how much they'll have to cash in and what that'll do to the issue. Well, I, I hate to do a note of sanity here, guys, but come on now. now. First off, when you look at the United States as an entity, let's just look at it as an entity. Yes, we have off-balance sheet uh, issues on Social Security, other things. Those are way, way down the road that can be fixed with actual appropriation. But all of our assets are basically run at zero. In other words, uh, resources, lands, buildings, et cetera, all carried on the books at zero. If you take our entire asset base as a country, we so far exceed any <laughs> other country that that it's not even it's close, and that's why, dear Peter, we have a AAA rating. But what does that have and to do with number two? On, it's ability to pay us. Finish your point, Toby. Go ahead. And, and the, find, the point is, is that your rating is based on your earnings capacity, and because our country grows, because our country has uh, productivity growth okay. and population okay. growth, Hold we can on, make Peter. our payments I, just I know. You, I want to work it around somewhere between Peter and Toby is Gary K. Gary, I get your your missives uh, by email, and you're furious at some of the bad things that uh, that you say we are doing, like this housing bill, which bails out some of the worst loans imaginable. But you don't see us as losing our top rating, do you? Well, look, if it does happen, our cost of capital is going to go up big time because people are going to demand higher rates for their investments in our bonds. And let's not hope that happens. That'll just really bust it. I just found it amazing, though, the administration comes out today and says, oh, we have all the confidence in the world in our capital market, as well as things getting better, as they raise the debt ceiling to $10.8 trillion. 10.6 from 9.8. Excuse me, I was, I was off a little. <laughs> Yeah. The, the, well, for me, it's, in, it's just sheer insanity to watch this continuing to go on. I, I tell you, Jonas, it's almost like the, those kinds of statements are reminiscent of what John Thane has said. We're well capitalized. Don't worry about oh, it. Yeah. I just, just hope <laughs> that it doesn't come to the point where we lose the AAA rating for the bonds. Do you think that could ever come to pass? Uh, no, I do not. Uh, because let's talk about sovereign debt ratings for just a second. Since yeah. it was brought up, Japan was brought up, for example. Yes, Moody's lowered their rating at one point, not to speculate, but a lower grade of investment grade. Japan has a national deficit that is about double related to GDP of America. It's like 180 percent of GDP. And they don't so, spend anything on defense. In other words, on that little. alone, yeah. we have, and they have huge liabilities for elderly people and pensions and all that. So by that alone, we could double our debt. Double. No. I don't mean per year. I mean for the whole outstanding $10 trillion before Jonas, movies would theoretically cut they it. They owe so, Japan a trillion dollars. How can they go broke before us? Because they can call because in that Because they have a massive amount them. of debt. No, no, but we can owe call, them. What is that? They can call can I, in the debt. They're a creditor nation. We're a debtor. We're in debt to Japan over They have dollars. higher debts than we do. And you but said I just we owe them. Hold on. Wait. Gary Kay has the last word, and it's got to be five seconds. Quick, Gary. My big worry is the trend is going the wrong way. It better turn around, because one day you may see AA instead of AAA. All right. All That's right. the last word well, you, for you, Gary. That's the last word for Gary Peter.